What's up all you cool cats and kittens? <laughs> Welcome back guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sydney, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I haven't done my makeup in a long time as I'm sure most of you guys have not because we are stuck in quarantine. Um, so I figured I would play around with some things. I do have a look that I was interested in doing. I am currently don't have any lashes on and my eyebrows, I'm gonna try to make them work today. So I did do my hair yesterday, um, and I'm trying to get creative, you guys, because to be honest, I refuse to do my natural hair. And quickly, I'm going in with my usual Le Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer, which I've always used and talked about in a couple of videos. But anyways, I am so over not getting my hair done like it really puts into perspective your routine when you cannot do it um i think i'm gonna get my nails put back on because i'm over the gel chipping i'm still working and work is going fine i'm very thankful that i am still working and for any of you guys that aren't um hopefully i'm praying for you guys that when this economy picks back up, that we all still have our stuff together. And I'm really trying to, you guys, this quarantine, really do more videos um, because I have the time and I'm trying to just, you know, keep my creative juices flowing and really, you know, stay committed to this. I do, I have so many ideas all the time and I just never really execute them. Well, I do, but I don't stick with it. And so I'm really trying. So if you guys have any suggestions, um, if you have not already, check out my Accutane video, um, which I put out, it'll probably be like two weeks. I did film a Life of Sid video with my mom and I plan on having that released this weekend. Um, and by the time you guys have seen it, it is probably gonna be a week old. I'm trying to at least release videos every week, but editing is a lot and it takes a lot of time and I wanna make sure it's good. Next, I'm going in with the um, e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I tried to film uh, that pastel look with that palette, you guys, but I honestly can't release that footage because it went left and I'm not, comfortable releasing it because it's kind of all over the place. I didn't even end it. I tried to stick with drugstore products. So this is, I believe this was maybe $8. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Color Pop No Filter Concealer. And this is in the color Medium Dark, another drugstore. Also you guys, I'm, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I use um, these Dickerson Witch Hazel Wipes. Um, and I use these they're cleansing cloths, but I use them to remove my makeup. And the Neutrogena ones don't work for me. They broke my face out, so I do not use those anymore. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And this is with the Beauty Bakery um, Beauty Sponge. And I love these. I've mentioned them before. You can get six in a little carton um, for $20, which is the price of one beauty blender. And I find that they actually do a better job. Also, you guys, I am going to try to film a tutorial on this look as well as my braids. Um, anything else that you guys want to me to do a tutorial on, let me know. It's just that I need to, I'm going to try to do it on my friends because it gets, it's really hard to do it on your own. Um, like camera wise, positioning, trying to get, make sure that they can see the back and see the parts. So if you guys do have any um, tutorials that you want me to do, um, like hair or anything besides makeup, um, let me know. I am going to try and do some more fashion videos. I know that you guys were also requesting that. Um, it's hard because I don't really know like what you guys want to see per se. Um, and I think I'm going to, even though we can't go anywhere, I haven't ordered clothes in a long time. And so I think that I'm going to order some clothes from Pretty Little Thing and do like a haul, like a try on and have you guys see my first impressions. Um, Pretty Little Thing is always like a hit or miss as far as 
anything is a hit or miss when I order stuff online because nine times out of 10, it doesn't like to fit. So that's always great. The camera that I am using, um, cause some of you guys have asked, is the Sony Alpha 5100. And I actually really like it. My last camera was good for photos and not good for videos. The videos were horrible. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my Holy Grail Kylie um, setting, this thing will focus, setting spray, I mean not setting spray, setting powder in the color soft pink. And you guys know I've talked about this before. One of my faves. I just looked at the cap and this thing is so dusty because I haven't used it in a while. It's so depressing. And then you guys, I had a sty for, I had two styes back to back for like two weeks, maybe more than a week and I couldn't do makeup. So go figure. I obviously didn't wear any. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz Pencil and this is in the color Ebony. We're gonna try to make these eyebrows work. I'm gonna go ahead and dust this powder off. I don't like to let this bake sit too long. Still trying to work, you guys, on my setup as far as how I want the camera to be set up. So let me know if you guys like this view. My mom put this shelf here. Um, and I like it so far. It's not staying like that, but due to Ikea being closed, it will be. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in and spray my face with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Mist. I'm gonna go ahead and set the brows with, of course, MAC Clear Brow Gel. So I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Park Ave Princess, and this is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. And this was like a little uh, sample one that I got and I still love it and it still works. So we're gonna go in with that. And I just kind of use this one, you guys, to contour. Um, it's a bronzer, but to me it gives like a nice effect without it being too shimmery. The next one I'm gonna go in with is this um, Makeup Revolution London. Um, this is their bronzer reloaded and this is in the color long weekend. I believe I used this in the last video as well But like I said that did not get seen because the footage is trash. So this one does have a little bit more uh, Shimmer as you guys can see I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm gonna use Kylie again, and this is her blush in the color rosy and Spray the face one more time. This time I am using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Spray. So I have a couple of palettes here um, because I don't know which um, purple is gonna work. So like I said, I have this Huda Beauty Neon palette in um, pink. I have the Jackie Ina Anastasia palette. I have the NYX Ultimate palette. Um, I have the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I have this in two variations. One has shimmers and one is just matte shades. I'm actually gonna go in with the NYX palette, and I'm gonna go in with this color here and see if we can get that nice base shade. And I'm going in with the Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and tap in here. I think we're gonna stick with this palette for right now and I'm gonna go in, none of these have names, so I'm gonna go in this um, purple right here and we're gonna take it on a, we're gonna take it on a fluffy brush first and let me see if this payoff is gonna work because if it doesn't, then I might wet the brush, but NYX has a pretty good payoff with this, so. The issue with this though, you guys, is it's kind of doing the same thing that happened last time where it's looking more pink. So I'm gonna stop with that color because it's getting away from me. Okay, we're gonna go to the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil. 
we're gonna go in with these purples that are on this side and see if we can get a nice purple color here. I actually put this all over the lid. So I'm gonna actually take a now clean um, M441 brush and kind of, well actually, I'm gonna go back in with that orange shade and kind of uh, diffuse these ends here. So that's still looking purple, but not as purple as I'd want it to. I'm gonna actually go back in with the Hedda Beauty palette. I think I'm gonna either try to use this purple and this lavender one down here. This is a tricky one too though, because sometimes it shows up very, very pink. And okay, so this is, yeah, that's so much better. So that is how we're looking right now. And I'm not mad at it so far, but it is looking a little muddy at the top. So I'm going to take this uh, shade here and I'm gonna take it back with the same brush that I was using to do the outer corner and see if we can. Okay guys, so I'm going to add a little bit more lavender around the edge um, because this is still looking very pink. So we're gonna have to try to keep making this a little bit more purple until we can get it right. I'm gonna put in the same purple color that we used from NYX and I'm gonna put it on the lower lash line. So, that was easy. We're gonna do a black liner. I'm gonna try to do my liner on camera. I'm going in with the NYX, um, this is their matte liquid liner. There we have one eye complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Okay, so I brought you guys in a little bit closer. Um, so I did finish the other eye. And so now I'm gonna choose what lashes. We're gonna go in with the wispy lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom mascara and I'm always going in with what I usually go in with is the MAC Extended Play Lash. I'm not gonna lie, wearing the lashes is kind of refreshing. Okay, so onto the lips. Now, you guys know I love my nude lips, so I think we're gonna stick to nude lips today. And I'm really loving this Patrick Ta um, liner and this is his precision lip crayon. It's in the color She's Bold and it's very, very pretty. It's like a push top. And then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with Cork, which is also like my number one top lip color of all time. Anytime you guys see me with a nude lip, nine times out of 10, it's Cork liner. I'm gonna go in with Another Patrick Ta, and this is his um, Silky Lip Cream, and this is literally my favorite. It's in the shade She's Confident, and it's a nice, like, perfect nude color without it being completely matte. That's pretty much my lip combination anytime I wear makeup. Last and final step, I am going to go ahead and add some highlight and I'm gonna go in with my usual and this is the Too Faced um, Canary Diamond, which is my ultimate fave and I'm just gonna do a little bit. And you guys, this is the final look. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial um, get ready with me. I wanna thank you guys once again for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or want me to do any more looks, um, please do let me know. And so until next time.